Let's learn how to make multiple instances of PixInsight so you're never stuck not being able to play with your data while Way to Batch preprocessing is running again. Welcome to SETI Astro. So you've just kicked off WBPP, it's running, but you really can't. You can't do anything else in PixInsight until this thing is done. Uh, and I don't know if you guys are like me, but you know, sometimes if it's going to do some masters of a particular filter or whatever, or, or maybe I just want to look at other data or play around with uh, processing while we're waiting on WBPP, but you can't do anything in PixInsight. I'm sure like me, many of you have a desktop shortcut that you use to just open PixInsight with. And just clicking on the, the shortcut, all it does is kind of blink that PixInsight is already running, so that's not going to help us. But let's go over two ways of opening a, a new instance for PixInsight. If you're at least on Windows, you can go to All on your Start menu, scroll down to PixInsight itself, and now instead of just the main one, click New Instance. And it's going to open a completely new instance of PixInsight. It's up and running, and it's it's a normal PixInsight. I will say that the global preferences and stuff in the new instance, uh, it won't have all your preferences from the first instance. So each instance of PixInsight is its own like standalone thing. So this is instance that I just opened up. You can see like my directories and network. It only has the, the one swap storage directory. So, you know, if you really want to make your new instance really good, you, you'd have to go in and make all your uh, preferences updated how you had on, on your first instance. But it will save for that next new instance. If you don't have a new instance button or a way from like the start menu to do it, specifically like if you're running in Linux or even on Mac, that may not be an option. What you can do is make a, a shell file or a batch file. So this is just a, a text document. You have the directory of where your PixInsight executable file lives. It's actually in the bin folder. And you just tell it to run your PixInsight executable and then have this dash n equals and the new instance number. You could have hundreds of new instances if you really want it, but n equals two, three, four, five, whatever you want, and that'll pull up that instance number of Pix Insight. And then when you save that text file, I just put mine in the, the C drive, you change the .txt to .bat, and that'll make it a batch file. For Linux and Mac, you'd make it a .sh. You gotta change it to a shell file, but it's the, the same idea for you guys. And then for me, I just made a desktop shortcut that goes to this uh, new instance of PI that I made. So on the desktop, uh, I could just double click that if PixInsight's already running and consumed with something, and it's just gonna open a, a second instance for me like it's doing right now. So not a revolutionary new script or tool or anything out there. Uh, this was something that I didn't know about and it took me a while to to figure it out for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, you can run multiple instances of PixInsight. So you could have one running WBPP or the Supernova Asteroid Hunter or some other script that has it just consumed. And you could still process other data on the side if, if you so choose. Well, I hope you guys liked the video and that you learned something. Please comment, like, and subscribe.